Hey guys, how are you doing? So in this episode, I'm going to explain one reason why you should not update to iOS 18 developer beta version. If you are so curious after seeing plenty of videos on YouTube to update iOS 18 developer beta on your primary iPhone, then you should check this video. I have updated the iOS 18 developer beta on my secondary iPhone which is iPhone 12 and after noticing certain bugs and I thought to make a video tutorial about how to downgrade to iOS 17.5.1 which is the latest stable version available right now. So I put my iPhone 12 into recovery mode and then I connected it to my Mac computer and opened the finder app to proceed with the iOS restore. I have opened ipsw.me website on the Safari and I need to navigate inside to find the right IPSW file which is here in this case for iPhone 12 and you can see that Apple is still signing the latest 17.5.1 version so I have downloaded the IPSW file to my local computer downloads folder and then I went back to my uh, finder app on my Mac computer and instead of clicking the restore update you need to click on update by holding pressing and holding the option key if it is a Mac if it is a Windows then you need to press and hold the shift key and click on the update so that you will see the finder window to select the manually downloaded IPSW file and after a couple of minutes when the installation started I thought everything will be through but to my surprise that the downgrade failed and I started to see unknown error 68 on my finder app I tried it several times and I couldn't roll back to the iOS 17 so if you are planning to install it on your primary device then please don't do it and it was not also possible for me to kick out the recovery mode for my iPhone so I need to use 3u tools app in order to exit the recovery mode if you are using iMazing software, a paid software, then of course you can exit it from the recovery mode using the iMazing software. I tried updating, you know, the downgrade of iOS 18 to iOS 17 using the iMazing software and still it was a failure. So some problem inside the iOS 18 installed, the developer beta installed iPhone is preventing me to downgrade to iOS 17. So I'm expecting like after two or three betas, this problem could be fixed. And the main thing is like, if you are planning to downgrade without data loss, then this method will not work. I have also published a detailed video with iOS 17 to iOS 16 downgrade possibility and how to do that in our channel I leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment you can check that out so in the similar method without data loss downgrade is not possible right now you need to completely wipe off your iPhone or iPad if you have installed the iOS 18 developer beta in order to downgrade without data loss so only then you can roll back to iOS 17 if you are using iCloud backup then absolutely you should be fine you can restore the data that you have you know backed up to your iCloud account when you were using the iOS 17 or even with iOS 18 if you have iCloud backup feature on with good Wi-Fi speed you can take the backup entire iPhone backup to iCloud and then do a full format of your iPhone and then restore your iCloud backup otherwise it is recommended to not install iOS 18 developer beta till Apple addresses this issue I hope this video helped you thanks for watching and for more don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day